restore the Kiwi dream of affordable home ownership. Question number five, Jamie Lee Ross. Uh, Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Transport and asks, does he stand by all his statements and actions? The Honourable Phil Twyford. Yes, when described and reported accurately. Supplementary. Does he stand by his answer to written question 13789, where he outlined that New Zealanders will be paying more than $1 billion in new fuel taxes over the next three years? Yes. What advice did he receive from the Ministry of Transport on the impact on the cost of living of charging New Zealanders an extra $1 billion in new fuel taxes over the next three years? Well, the Minister of Transport agreed with the modelling that was done by MB, which said that the average family will pay in Auckland as a result of the full rollout of three years of consecutive uh, fuel excise duty increases and the uh, Auckland Regional Fuel Tax that the average family will pay typically uh, $5 extra per week. Did he take into an account, before he announced a billion dollars in new fuel taxes, that fuel prices, prices had already increased on average by 20 cents a litre since he took office? Well, Mr Speaker, I, um, I take my cue on this from uh, an earlier government that increased fuel taxes in 2015 after um, petrol prices had gone up by 40 cents a litre yes. between January and June 2015. The government then increased excise tax in July. As that decision had no impact on the economy and petrol prices later fell, as international fuel prices moderated. I think Simon Bridges is a very good role model here. <laughs> Can he confirm that after this 20 cents a litre price movement, his fuel tax increases and regional fuel taxes will mean his government is responsible for Kiwis paying over 40 cents a litre more in petrol than what they were a year ago? No, I don't believe that this government nor any previous government is responsible for international commodity prices and their volatile fluctuations. Right. That's right. well Question number six, Anahila Tēnā koe te mana whakawā. To the Minister of Housing and...